Hi besties. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a patriotic thrift haul. I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I found. This is from two different trips. I had the day off today, so I went to 2DIs and I'm really excited to show you guys what I found. A lot of things are patriotic. I tried to keep like Christmas and fall out. So you guys will see those in a different video, but I did find more things, but I'm gonna show you guys like summer decor and patriotic decor. The reason that I went to the second thrift store today was because I had seen that somebody local was selling this <laughs> Jadeite cookie canister for $15. So I messaged them and they um, told me that I can go pick it up because I really wanted it, you guys. I don't know if you guys remember, but a long time ago, I had purchased two of these and I actually returned them because um, the ones that I had, it, they had like really weird marks on the Jadeite and it just bothered me so much and they didn't sell them anymore. And they don't even, I don't think they sell um, Jadeite from Pioneer Woman at Walmart anymore. So when I saw that they were selling it for $15, I was so excited. I can't remember how much the cookie canister was in store. I think it was maybe $25 in store, but this was brand new in the box. I actually took it out of the box. It still has like the sticker on it and everything, but I'm so excited that I found it, you guys. I can never find Jadeite like when I'm thrifting. I'm pretty sure I can find it like if I go to an antique store, but this is so beautiful. I'm so excited that I found this for $15. I found some mason jars as well. These were $2 each. This one does have like the older lid on it. And this one has like a newer, a newer lid. So I bought both of these and I'm really excited. They're a little bit different. I think one of them's a little bit taller than the other one. But I've been loving these blue mason jars. So every time I see them, I pick them up. And then I had to do like a Google image search on this. I wasn't sure what this was for, but I guess it's for like planting. I just really liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm trying to collect things so I can I decorate. Have a little patio area that I want to decorate. But I'm trying to like wait till I find the perfect like furniture piece that I can put out there and I've had no luck. So I'm still waiting, but I've been collecting like little things here and there. So when I do find that, I can decorate that. But this is going to go outside. This is $1. The other day when I went to the DI, I found another one of these that I'll show you guys right now. It was a three frame one. So when I saw this one, I was really excited. I want to start putting like little pictures here and there. So I'm gonna put like my um, kids' pictures in the other one and I'm not sure, I'll probably put their photos in here too, but I just thought it was super cute. It's like a two frame, it's like stuck together. This was 75 cents. In the collectibles, they had this brass eagle for $8. I really liked it because it's kind of small and petite and then it has like this wooden base on it. I think if I take off the felt from down here, I can screw it a lot better because it kind of turns on here, but I don't know if I want to take off the felt. It looks really nice as it is. And it says made in India for $8. And I also found one of these like drinking bottles. Like, I don't know if these are specifically military ones, but I always see them like at the, where at the antique stores when they have military decor. So I'm guessing it is, I'm not sure what these are called but it just has like the water bottle in here. So I got this one and I'm really excited because I always um, see them. I don't think I've ever paid attention to see how much they cost, but this was $2 and I thought there's no way they would cost $2 at the vintage store. So I just bought it. And I'm not sure, I think maybe something goes here or maybe you tie it to your backpack or something from here but it does have this on the back. I just thought it was nice. You guys know that I'm trying to collect military decor for my patriotic decor next year. I also found another one of these beautiful ladies. Look how beautiful she is. She's carrying her books and her little basket. It was $1.50. And on the bottom, you guys, I don't know if these are specific to 
Utah, but I remember seeing another one when I was at the at the other DI and it also said it was like in I can't remember what city it was in, but this one says Sandy, Utah. So I don't know if this these are specific to Utah. I don't know. Um, I'm just guessing they are because this is the second um like little sticker I see of it. This one says Hanson Classic, Sandy Utah, Porcelain, Sharing statue and it looks like it cost 78 dollars let me show you so 78 dollars right there like i don't know how this would cost 78 dollars <laughs> i don't know it was a dollar 50 but i was like how why so much maybe because it's porcelain i don't know but i love them you can see i have like a little collection right here i don't know why it kind of looks like my hutch is kind of cloudy but it doesn't look like that in person i don't i don't know what's going on maybe it's the lighting so i got this one for a dollar fifty i went to an estate sale not too long ago and i found some brushes there and i don't know i was thinking of putting them in a bowl or something for fall time so this one was one dollar it says star 100 percent horsehair made in brazil so I bought it it looks really nice like it's new or something i just thought it was really nice the bristles on here and the wood color is really pretty too so i'm gonna add this one to my little collection that i have already i was so excited to find another flag and this one looks brand new you guys i'm so excited for it because i have the one that's right here hanging where my military um like the soldier um uniform is at so i'm gonna replace this one probably next year i don't think i'm gonna take it down um i am gonna have my decor up till the end of july and then i'll put up my fall decor because we do celebrate pioneer day so i'm gonna leave it up the whole month so i'm really excited to have found this flag for two dollars purchase this bag right here you can see the price says $18, which I thought it was $8, but then when I got to the register, I asked him, um, and he said it was $18, so I asked for a discount. They gave it to me for $8, but I'm not sure what these are exactly, if they are like handkerchiefs or if they're napkins because they're a little bit see-through. So I'm not sure if they're napkins or handkerchiefs. I'm gonna use them for napkins. I think they are beautiful. And you guys know that my napkins are just decor. We don't use these napkins. So I think they're gonna look so nice. Like if I was to put them, let me see. I don't know. I, I wonder if I could like make a star out of it or something. So maybe put it like this. You can put it like with the stars and the stripes on the back. That would look really pretty too. So it does come with 10 of them. So I paid $8, which I know is a lot, but I really like them. And I wasn't sure if I could find like napkins, like at like home goods or wherever. So I just bought them, but $8 for these handkerchiefs. I don't know. I don't know what else. If you guys have any ideas of how I could use this, let me know. I don't know, I think it would look cute like if I was to even put it as a headband, I don't know. I don't know, let me know if you guys have any ideas on what to do with these. Cause right now I don't have any besides using them as napkins, but I think they're really nice. And then you guys, I found this. <laughs> it was $1.50, I don't know what it was that I really liked it. I didn't even know this was for wine, I believe. I just like the box. Um, and it's like a wooden one. I was thinking of painting it and I was like, what colors should I do? Um, and at first I was like, maybe I'll paint it white or maybe I'll paint it black. But then I had everything here on the table and I'm like, maybe I should just paint um, stripes on it. Like red, white, and blue and go all the way around. Take off the hardware. I don't know. I really like it. And then I was thinking of doing the same here on the front or maybe painting it like... Um, red putting some white stars on it i'm not really sure like how i'm gonna do it but or maybe painting it white 
and then putting like a red, white, and blue star, that would be nice too. And maybe put um, like, a, I don't know, like a happy 4th of July or something on the on here, on the top part of the of the door. I think it would look really nice. Right, you guys, I'll have to take out my Cricut and um, print some images, a little scene for the door right here. And I think it would look really cute. I don't know. I really like it. Maybe I'll just do the stripes on the front too. I don't know. This yet. morning when I was at the DI, I was about to leave and they brought out a cart and I saw one of the employees putting things in the end cap. So I went over there and I saw this, you guys. Look how beautiful it is. I don't know why I need another soup tureen, but all the time I see them at the store, I really want them. I just think they're beautiful. And this one has the little ladle. It does have like a, I don't want to say a chip on it um kind of like from resting in here because the inside looks really like it hasn't been used they're probably like me they just buy it and just decorate with it so here's the inside it looks all brand new and here's the price tag it was a five dollars and i just think it's so so nice i love it so pretty i love the lid on it too i just think it's so nice look at the lid and this is what i was talking about um those little i don't know it's like chips on the on the spoon but i really liked it i love it actually so much i just think it's so so beautiful it's so nice i love this little soup tureen Look how nice this is. Besties, these next items, I'm not really sure what you guys are going to think about them because I've never bought in anything <laughs> like them. But I've been going through the toy aisles and I don't know. I always see that there's a lot of like plushies uh, in the toy aisle. They have like a whole aisle of just like a whole bunch of plushies. So I bought a few of them because I think they would look nice with my patriotic decor. First one is this owl, $1. He's just like a little owl. Isn't he so cute? So I found him and then I found his dad, of course. Look at his dad. Oh my gosh, this one is so cute. I wasn't sure if I was gonna bring the little one, but I was like, look how cute they look together. Look how cute. <laughs> Let me see, look at him. Oh my gosh, they're so, so cute. I don't know. This one was $2. I'm really happy. Oh, let me put his little tail in here. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look how cute he looks. It says uh, Build-A-Bear Workshop. And it's just like his little pants and his little outfit. $2 for... Um, this big one one dollar for the small one and then you guys this one is my favorite look at this guy two dollars his little sweater just oh my gosh i just loved it this is what made me buy him it says usa and look at his face he is so so cute his little sweater is so cute and then look at his little boots they're so cute. Isn't he just adorable? He was also $2. So $2 each for these two. I'm really happy that I bought them. I don't really buy plushies to decorate, but when I saw them, I thought they would look so nice with my patriotic decor, especially like if I was to put like my baseballs, my bats. I am gonna start picking up the bats, the small little bats when I see them. I always leave them behind, but I think I'm going to start collecting them. I would like to have like a few of them so I can put these guys like a whole baseball little theme. I think it would look super cute. So let me show you guys. Look how cute they look. <laughs> They're so cute. They're just like all friends. They're going to go play their baseball game. I don't know. I really like them. I also found this wallpaper right here. It's by Imperial Coordinated Borders, Cleveland, Ohio. Pre-pasted five yards. I'm not sure if all of the yards are in here, but I thought it was beautiful. Let me show you. 
not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I could not leave this behind. I thought it was so nice. Look how nice that is. I just think it's beautiful. I think it's so beautiful. It says America. So yeah, you can see the price right there, $2. I just love the colors. It looks like antique to me. I just think it looks so nice. So I'm um, so excited. I'm not gonna use it as wallpaper because you guys know that my house was covered in wallpaper and I just don't like wallpaper anymore <laughs> because it was just so hard to take it off and fix the walls and do all of that. But I was thinking of just taping it to my wall. I was first thinking that maybe I could just frame it into like a make a wooden frame for it but then i was thinking of putting it like right here above my curio my hutch um like on the very top just putting like a strip of it i think it would look really nice i don't know what else i'm gonna do with it but i love this wallpaper and you can see i have a few it, it, it is a big roll so i'm really and you can see that i it and you can see that it is a big roll for two dollars i just couldn't leave it behind when i saw it i fell in love with it because of the colors and it says america and it's just very patriotic and i love patriotic decor this is the stuff that i found the other day i think it was tuesday that i went today is july 5th so yeah i think it was tuesday um so i found a baton <laughs> And I've actually seen them before and I never picked them up, but I picked one up today. It was, I think it was $1.50, 75 cents or $1.50. I took off the price. I can't remember, but I bought it. And then when I was here at my house, I was like trying to figure out where to put it or how to decorate with it. And I was thinking maybe I'll come across some pom-poms, some cheerleading pom-poms. And then I remembered that my daughter has like a whole bunch of pom-poms and her cheerleading outfit. So I was thinking of um, asking her if I can use her stuff as decor. So I haven't even asked her yet, but I was thinking it. I, I know she'll let me borrow it, but I think it would look so nice with her cheer stuff. And I think like the pom-poms, her cheer outfit, I think I'm gonna hang it next year for my patriotic decor. So I'm really excited that I found this because then I would have never had that idea of displaying her cheer uniform, which is really nice. Um, she was in cheer for uh, several years, so I'm really excited to see if I can display her stuff. This is the other little frame that I told you guys that I found the other day. You can see this one has the little um, mat in the frame, which is really nice. But these pictures are already like really small, so I don't know if I'm gonna use them at or not. But I really like it because it has three and this one was one dollar and you can move them around I don't know I really like them I have two more items to show you guys and I am so excited for these two items I can't even believe that I found them at the DI this first one is this Coleman cooler and you guys I should have recorded the whole bottom was rusted like so so bad and I was like, oh, I don't care. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna try to clean it up. I wish I had a picture, but I don't because I was not recording at the store when I went. But you guys, I washed it with um, Barkeeper's Friend. And look, it looks brand new. It was so, so rusted, like so, so rusted. I, I didn't even think it was gonna get cleaned. And it amazed me how nice and brand new it looks again. Look at this. I washed it all up. And this was $3 at the thrift store. $3. I see these at the antique store and I've always wanted one, but I never buy it because they're usually like maybe like $20 or $30. But it was $3. I was so excited for it. It's going to go so nicely with my patriotic decor. Besties, this is my last item. I'm so, so happy that I found it. I'm always looking for thermoses at the thrift store and I've never ever come across one before. But I found this one in the yard right after I found the cooler. 
I found this. Can you guys believe that I found this? Oh my gosh, it was $3. I took off the price because I already washed it. It was all dusty and stuff, but it was $3. I was so happy. It was meant to be, <laughs> it was meant for me. And the funny thing is that um, there was these two guys um, so I was walking this way and the guys were walking this way and while they were looking where the thermos was at um, I wasn't even paying attention on that side because it was a cart on my side and I was looking at the stuff on the cart and then I turn around and I see the thermos and I'm like oh my gosh like I couldn't even believe that they didn't buy it but everyone's looking for different things and I'm sure guys are not looking <laughs> for an old vintage thermos or who knows maybe they are but <laughs> they didn't pick it up so I definitely ran to it because I was so excited that it was a patriotic thermos and the inside you guys is like new it's like in really good condition it's not broken or anything you can see it was also three dollars I don't know if I mentioned that already but I'm just so excited to have this oh I'm so excited I would like to have a lot of thermoses but they're just hard to find and I don't know sometimes they're really high in price so I was just really happy to find this. That's one. all of the decor that I purchased for my summer decorating. I'm going to put some of this up right now and you guys will see it in my home tour. But I'm really excited for next year to see all of this like in different areas of my home. I usually will purchase things off season and just save them and decorate with them when it comes to, um, around to that season again or that holiday. So I'm really excited for everything that I have here. I know sometimes I buy things and I put it away, but then I, when I take them out, it's like brand new to me. So I'm really excited. I want to thank you all so much for being here on my channel. Hope you guys had a wonderful 4th of July. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye besties.